What life-changing item can you buy for less than $100? Two pet ducks. You may be tempted to go for one. But trust me, you need two. And you'll have about $76 left over. Edit. Fully humbled by the awards, kind friends. Nice try Jeff Bezos. Another monitor. Your productivity will increase dramatically. A nasal irrigation kit. Either the electronic pump or simply the squeeze bottles. I started using them both leading up to surgery on my sinuses, and I haven't stopped using them since. It takes some getting used to, but the relief and clean feeling is amazing. AeroPress coffee maker. The thing broke my wife of her $200 monthly Starbucks habit. The unit costs maybe $25 or so. House plants. They will make you happy looking after them. I recently bought a Venus flytrap. She see her first fly today. So proud. Rice cooker. That F kept me fed during depression when I barely had the energy to get out of bed. Takes less than nothing to get some rice in there and flip the switch. Want something sweet? Throw coconut and sugar in there. Want flavor but can't be fucked to make anything? Get some Spanish rice or saffron coin. You can throw toff in there with it if you need. Yeah it's not the best for you, but hot food is better than no food. New pair of socks. If you have been wearing the same pairs forever like I typically usually do there's nothing like putting on a new pair of freshly bought socks. You can totally feel the difference. I never realized till was in a sadly, but I appreciate the feeling of new socks all the time. I bought a $1 back scratcher from a nation market in town. Best $1 I ever spent. A decent light wake up alarm clock. Completely changed my mornings. Don't think I could ever go back to using my phone or a simple alarm clock. If you have trouble getting up or functioning in the morning and like a nice cup of coffee or tea, an electric kettle with a timer can be a real game changer. Or just getting an electric kettle if you don't have one. A king sized blanket for a queen sized bed. This post cost me over $400 so far. Sharp knives for the kitchen. A glad breaker on a keychain. Push it against the glad of your car window and it shatters immediately, helping you get out of a car underwater, broken door etc. Super cheap and life saving. In my opinion definitely a weighted blanket, if you have a hard time sleeping at night or have anxiety. They have some at Target for $25 currently. Motion sensor night lights. Can't tell you how many stub toes or falls they have prevented. Also a cheap intruder alarm. Carbon monoxide detector. More than one 10mm socket. Blackout curtains for your bedroom. May sound simple, but a good pillow. It is amazing the change in body aches and sleep you see when you have a good pillow that fits you. Sunscreen. No skin cancer for me. An air compressor to air up your tires. Got one off Amazon for 30 bucks. A 10 foot charging cable. Or a quality pair of shoes. National Park Annual Pass. Step 1. Throw away all your socks. Step 2. Buy 3 to 5 packages of the same sock. Step 3. Enjoy life without ever having to match socks again. A good shop vacation. You will not believe how many uses around the house you'll find for it. Cobweb bar water our gravel our vent cleaning. Soot trap cleaning. After a good scrub. Since it's likely dirty from other tasks car vacuuming. Dust s the list goes on. Seriously if you plan to buy or already own a home go get a shop vacation. Fitted sheet straps. They keep cheap sheets from popping up at the corners. So now I can use soft sheets that don't cost a fortune and my sleep is undisturbed by them popping loose, greatly improving my quality of life. Condoms. A basic skincare routine. I'm talking like cleanse, moisturize, sunscreen, and if you're really adventurous in need, get yourself a topical for acne or concerns. Amazing for your self-esteem and also becomes a form of self-care eventually. It's so easy to forget to take care of yourself. First aid kit. Lighthearted, but a pressure cooker. You can get one for around $100 and it can easily cook a genuinely staggering variety of food and cook it well. 
Edit. Till there are two types of people that use pressure cookers. People who use them to cook food and people who use them to make bombs. Edit 2. O N T P E N O P L E W H O U S E E D T O S A N T O I L E Z E H N G S. Foam roller. An electric kettle. I'm American. A dash cam for your car can protect you from wrongful claims also vandalisms and theft. A good show ahead. I cannot stress enough how a high quality show ahead can turn getting clean into a tilly zen. 30 minute self healing and relaxation session. Edit. Ok clarification. I don't shower for 30 minutes every day. Modern rain show heads use very little water and I only have about 15 minutes to get ready in the morning so this is a rare treat I'll let myself do once or twice a month. I appreciate the loving comments. 24 meters. I bought a book online about SQL for like 25 bucks and then a course on Udemy for like 11.99. But went from a job earning 35,000 to 55,000 because I took time to learn a new skill. And if I end up staying and becoming a higher level analyst, salary is around 70-75k. Maybe that analysis isn't your gig, but learning a skill can be cheap in terms of money, more time consuming than anything but worthwhile. A good chef's knife and a cast iron skillet. When you have tools that are s to use, cooking becomes less chore and more hobby. You'll end up eating healthier, cheaper than tequila at restaurant, and ditching the dull worm at knife, and scratched up non-stick aluminum skillet are the best place to start. Editing to add. Since so many are asking what to get, Victorian arcs 8 or 10 chef's knife, and 10 lodge cast iron skillet. These in my opinion are at the tippy top of the curve on quality to price ratio. These probably leave enough room in the budget to get a $2 steel from Goodwill and a large butcher block cutting board. As long as you use the steel with some regularity, a good knife should go a long time before it actually needs to be sharpened. Second edit, I agree that a good sharpener is important, but if you have $100 to spend today you can wait on sharpener, as long as you have a steel to maintain the edge. You will need one, but not today. Also I'm going to take another look at carbon steel skillets. A hammock. Bought my Eno a year ago, and I have no idea what I did without it. You can literally post up anywhere and everywhere, and it will encourage you to go outside a lot more. An electric toothbrush. A used instrument. A SSD. SSDs are a gift from God. A passport. Although, it depends where in the world you are, where I'm it is less than the equivalent of 100 US dollars. Silk pillowcase. Edit, I got a silk pillowcase, because I have really really long hair down to my butt and it keeps it from tangling as badly overnight. As a Canadian it is really upsetting to hear about all the things that can supposedly be had for $100 in other places. Deleted. Meat thermometer. No more cutting open meat to see if it's done, thus leaking juices. A good everyday carry pocket knife. I use mine several times a day. Carbon monoxide alarm. Please get one. A slow cooker. A Kindle or library card. A juicer blender. A donation to adopt a pet from an animal shelter. A printer. Rice cooker. A kitchen scale. Completely changed my food consumption since I could easily measure portions. I learned what they actually should be, not what we in the US act like they are. That plus my fitness pal the free version, even, equals me losing 120 pounds over 18 months and developing a much healthier relationship with food and eating. Very simple tools, but great for enacting real, lasting change. A folding wagon. Getting groceries in the house. Camping gear, etc. We always have it in the car and you can do 5 trips worth by hand effortless. Tongue scraper. Books. Knowledge is currency that only increases. Upgraded my box spring, billow, and purchased a sound machine before lockdown. I've had more solid sleep, and I'm having quite more pleasant days. I live with anxiety and PTSD, and I'm a C user medically proper channels. As a father of 3 fourth in root, life is simply compounding with interior place issues. After I upgraded my box spring and pillow I purchased a sound machine. To be honest, each of these three things would elevate your sleeping and alter you days to come.
Not to mention the medical. Each of these things are separately $100. Prescription contact lens edit didn't realize how many people would want to know where to order. So far my fastest option is ordering from opticontacts.com they will only take a week or less. Lens.me is another option with more exotic brands, but they take much longer to arrive as they ship out of Dubia. Neither will ask for prescription from doctor. You just manually input your recipe. A desk for laptop. Seriously using it on bed or somewhere else isn't as great as it's on a desk. Also a comfortable chair. A rice cooker. My mom always said that having one use appliances is a waste of money and space. And as an now I generally agree. No quesadilla makers, donut cake pop machines, etc. I spent almost 10 years of my life boiling rice on the stove and oftentimes messing it up. It should be simple, but for me it just iced. I bought a rice cooker on sale and oh man. Life changed. It's even got a steamer basket so it's not even technically a one use appliance. Perfect rice every time. And you can set it and forget it until it's time to eat. Frees up a stove burner. And meals where I cook rice now feel a lot easier. I'm willing to die on this hill. A collar that you can put ice cubes in to help keep you cool. I do a decent amount of outside and digging jobs and this thing probably saved me from heat stroke. And only 20 bucks. A good set of cookware. Whether it's pots and pans or a good chef's knife. Every investment I make in my kitchen increases my quality of life. Edit. I feel like a few people are being deliberately negative about this. For those of you who honestly don't think that you can buy good cooker for under $100 I encourage you to temper your expectations of what good is and check out Amazon right now. If you want a full blown set of decent pots and pans there is a ceramic set for around $85 right now. Ceramic cooker is what I started learning to cook on. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than any Teflon or imitation Teflon crap out there. If you prefer iron like I do, Lodge is a great company and they have a 10 inch iron skillet on sale for $15 right now. Pair that with a decent chef's knife from Mercer $45 the brand I'm currently using then throw in a dutcho. Looks like you can get one from Lodge for $40 and it has a decent rating. And you're good to go. Those three tools will last for life if taken care of and you can make so much with them. A shepherd's pie, pizza, fresh bread, soups, and stews, stir fry. I mean almost anything. Pro tip, even if it says prezi sewned, look up how to season it anyway. And never use soap on your iron. Scrub it in the sink under hot water, heat it up on the stove to get the moisture off fast. When it cools off rub it down with any old cooking oils. Just a thin layer with a paper towel will do. A pull up bar. Edit. Thank you so much for 3.6k up votes. This is most I've ever gotten. If you want information on how to progress, please look at you cults from 10,395 comment below. His information is very useful. 